action. Hello, my name is Atikam Halamar, I'm the Vice President of Marketing for Arpterna, and today I'm going to introduce our Fiber to the Antenna System. Fiber to the Antenna System is designed to replace the traditional coax systems that exist from the bottom of the tower, commonly known as the hut location, to the top of the tower, commonly known as a remote radio head. In the past, coax has been used extensively, but due to energy, theft, and pure bandwidth requirements, people are slowly migrating to fiber. And our system has been evaluated by several carriers, and I wanted to make this short video to introduce it to other prospective customers on a global basis. Let's start with the components. Start, if you will, with what goes in the hut. Over here, we have a one new high system. Alterna sells a lot of on one use around the world, and we've taken our experience of putting empty connectors or MPO connectors in the back, breaking out to individual modules in the front. This allows it to be very customizable as you go back to your backhaul equipment. So this goes in the hut, outdoor rated 1U. Next, for the purposes of the video, it's been pre-connectorized, uh, but we have what's known as the F2 cable. The F2 cable, as you can see, comes with a pulling grip with an empty connector once you pull this, it gets inserted to the back of the one you device, and of course at that point you uh, have uh, disposed of the pulling grip. This is known as the F2 cable. There are commonly two locations in a fiber to the antenna system where you can provision or deprovision a customer. The first one is an outdoor rated, NEMA rated box in which the F2 cable is plugged in. It's already been prepped for the purposes of this demo. But if you take a look inside, it looks like any other wall mount device where the F2 cable comes in and has the option of plugging into LCs or SCs, outdoor rated. That in turn serves as a point at which the second outdoor cable, known as the F1 cable, you can see it clearly marked here, comes in. Now if this hadn't been prepped, F2 would have been come in here, would have been stripped down and plugged in here, or if an operator prefers, it could have been plugged in and spliced into a splice tray. Once F2 co F1 comes in, F2 leaves and heads towards the antenna. One thing I wanted to point out is for the purposes of uh, uh, provisioning a customer, normally people don't want to go into the hut. They don't want to go back to the 1U. And so this is one place where you can plug and unplug prospective customers. This is an outdoor uh, location. We nicknamed this product pipe and box, as in this is a box that will sit on some kind of outdoor enclosure with conduit or pipe leading back to the hut in the one you. Hence the nickname pipe and box enclosure. Now we're off to the races with the F1 cable, and that comes pre connectorized to something we've done very innovative called the DMARC box. DMARC box comes out of a long experience working in various outdoor settings. And as you can see here, it comes with a number of connectors, in this case, 12. So if you're using something like a Scout connector, OptiTip, or Harting, depending on the connector uh, density, they come either in duplex or simplex. This is a very light box, weighs approximately 5 to 8 pounds. Not shown here are the wall mounts, if you will, tower mounts. So for the purposes of this video, I'm just going to highlight it by having everybody imagine somebody taking this on his belt buckle as he goes up the tower or uh, some kind of strap. There's various ways you go up a tower as everybody knows. So imagine if you were you're coming here much lighter than anything you'd ever do in coax, much lighter ribbon cable here. And imagine this being our tower. It gets hooked up on the tower here. So once it gets, of course, very secured, wind rated, uh, secure uh, mounting devices, you then have what can something that can handle up to 12 antennas, um, depending on the kind of DeMarc box you may order from Upturna, outdoor rated, and of course these connectors look very different than any LC or SC connector you've seen because they're all outdoor rated connectors, bayonet style. So let me first demonstrate.